right guys so this is after the um, after we reset the doc dpf we got the truck we're trying to warm it up right now and then um, we're gonna run um, a regeneration so i went into um ecm diagnostic test right here let's go back let me show you ecm diagnostic test and to, to run the force regen and we're gonna just do um, after treatment diesel particulate filter regeneration click on that click on next and it says the after treatment diesel particulate filter regeneration can be used to clean the particulate filter of soot instructions initial conditions engine running at idle number two vehicle stopped and on the monitors, it has um, after treatment injector status, after treatment diesel particulate filter sit load status, after treatment diesel particulate filter outlet temperature, after treatment diesel particulate filter intake temperature, after treatment diesel oxidation catalyst intake temperature, engine operating state. So we're gonna run this test to make sure that everything's nice and tight. We're not gonna have any issues when we get on the road because if it passes this test, it could do um, it could do a passive regen no problem because it's a lot easier. But um, so we're gonna start it. Engine's pretty warm. It's almost 150. Kind of like it would like it a little higher, but it should be good because it'll it'll get up to operating temperature. So as soon as I start it, this thing's gonna go crazy. So let's start it. All right forgot about this one <laughs> let me read this to you guys during regeneration gas temperatures could reach 800 celsius or 1472 degrees fahrenheit an exhaust system surface temperature could exceed 700 degrees celsius 1292 degrees fahrenheit let me get this out the way real quick expected engine speed may may reach between 1000 to 1500 rpm please read carefully and follow instructions to avoid risk of fire property damage, burns, or other serious personal injuries. To prepare for station regeneration, number one, select an appropriate location to park the vehicle on a surface that will not burn or melt under high temperatures, such as a clean concrete or gravel, not grass or asphalt, away from anything that can burn, melt, or explode. Nothing within two feet of the exhaust outlet, nothing that can burn, melt, or explode within five feet, such as gasoline, wood, paper, plastics, fabric, compressed gas, containers, hydraulic lines, no gas or vapors nearby that could burn, explode, or, con or contribute to a fire such as LP gas, gasoline, vapors, oxygen, nitrous oxide. Away from people who might come near the exhaust outlet. A location where you can observe the exhaust area during regeneration. Park the truck securely, set the parking brake, place the transmission in park if, if provided, otherwise in neutral. Set wheel chocks at front and rear of at least one tire. Set up a safe exhaust area. If bystanders might enter the area, set up barriers to keep people at least five feet from the exhaust outlet during generations. When indoors, attach an exhaust discharge pipe rated for 800 degrees Celsius for at least 800 degrees Celsius and 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby. Check exhaust system surfaces. Confirm the that nothing is on or near the exhaust system surface, such as tools, rags, grease, debris. Prepare for engine speed changes during regeneration. And it is, it gets pretty wild. Let's see if, I think look, there's more right here. Oh yeah, yeah, And um, do not operate any PTO powered devices. These devices must be disconnected before starting the generation. Stay clear of the engine compartment. Ensure that the vehicle and surrounding areas are monitored during regeneration. If any unsafe conditions occur, stop regeneration immediately. Once regeneration is completed, exhaust gas and exhaust surface temperatures will remain elevated for three to five minutes. Have all conditions noted above been met. Yes. So, oh, we're near, we're near 150 now. So, a little better. Good thing I read all this stuff. All right, let's go. And I'm not gonna have you guys go through the entire thing on the um, 
going through the entire um, process, but I'll, I'll bring you back and forth little clips so you can see it. But I'll let you see this when the, the engine idles up. Click yes. And on the screen right here, it's showing what's happening right here. It's saying after injector status, not dosing. After treatment diesel particulate filter sit load status, normal. After diesel to particulate filter outlet temperature, 191 degrees. After treatment diesel particulate filter intake temperature, 198 degrees. After treatment diesel oxidation catalyst intake temperature, 240 degrees. And then engine operating state, after treatment regeneration active. So, and if you do this, make sure your computer um, doesn't have a, a screen timeout because man I, the, when I was doing this the, the first time I had a four minute timeout and it actually messed the screen up where none of these numbers they were they were moving it just stayed right there and when it completed it didn't it didn't say that it was complete or anything so just make sure you have that turned off before you start this because when I was doing I kept on pushing the screen and um, one, one time um, I actually let it lapse and then that's when it happened so we're gonna let this thing get warmed up and I'm gonna come back. So we're like in the middle of it right now. So it's saying after treatment. Here, let me, let me close this door. Roll this window real quick. All right. So we're like in the middle of it right now. And, um, that's what it's showing right now. So the after treatment injector status, dozing. After treatment diesel particulate filter sit load status, normal. After diesel particulate filter outlet temperature, 1000 degrees point two. Now it's 1.1. After treatment diesel particulate filter intake temperature is 1021. Now it's 1020 degrees point two. After treatment, diesel particulate catalyst intake temperature 613 degrees. Engine operating state. After treatment regeneration active. It's actually better than my numbers I used to get because uh, used to used to get kind of a little lower than that. But I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any faults or anything. But um, everything's looking good right now. Everything's getting nice and hot. Don't hear any extra leaks from the gaskets that I swapped out. So. Let's see if it passes though. If it passes, then we're good and what time is it? Well, pretty soon I gotta, if we can pass soon enough. It's 4.17 right now, there's no way I'm gonna make it. That place closes at 4.30. But um, we're just gonna just run this, I guess, and then uh, enjoy the weekend. Yeah, because I don't think it's gonna finish. At least we get this out of the way. The truck's good, I drive it around and um, if anything, if anything else messes up, we can fix it right now. Still have time to go to the dealer. Dealer's open tomorrow, so so I'll be back. Just to let this run a little bit more. All right, temperatures uh, declining now. We got up all the way to 1,030 for the um, the, the inlet. Now it's at uh, 680 right now. too so the um, the downpipe where right where it connects to the turbo so I was watching everything because you're supposed to watch everything just make sure everything you know that everything's tight and you can see just a little little hint of smoke coming out so I tapped around the gasket tightened up a little bit more and um, and um, 
and got rid of the, the leak. Okay, it slowed down. Okay, now it's saying um, allow the engine and after treatment system to cool down. All right. So no codes. I guess that's good. It's saying the filter sit low is normal. Sorry, the temperatures. Yeah, everything looks good. No fault code. That's the most the most important. I don't. Let's see what it says. Oh, let me scroll down. Running, requested, completed. There he goes. Requ running, request completed. Stopped. So we're good. We got it done and the truck's good. So, uh, but I'm gonna keep an eye on everything, especially those, uh, those gaskets. Keep an eye on those. And um, we're, we're gonna, this good. Everything's good, everything checked out. So hopefully it'll last, because man, it's big money. Big money. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and uh, comment. Leave me a comment what you guys think. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to leave a message and I'll get back to you or send me a, send me a message and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. You guys take care. Bye.